Hello and welcome to a new video and today I want to show you how to make this wireframe like in this example here and first I want to show you the method you would normally use and this is to add in a wireframe modifier just on top of the mesh where you want to have the wireframe on and you see a nice and um a nice and even wireframe like in the mesh you have underneath and you see I have a multi resolution modifier and so it matches the wireframe it displays. But the problem we have here is when you have a multi resolution multi resolution modifier like I have here at the level of five you get quite um quite fast to the limitation because even at, at the level of two you see the wireframe is really really small and if I would um increase this to five you wouldn't see anything from the mesh underneath. So in this case it isn't the solution we can use. And so I want to remove it. And after one or two minutes I came up with the solution to duplicate uh, my original mesh and remove everything I don't need and add in a white diffuse material and move this to a separate layer. So now you can add in a wireframe modifier, but first remove the multi res modifier. So, wireframe, and you have your basic wireframe. But you see, at some points it intersects, at some points it's really far away from the meth mesh underneath it. And yeah, that isn't the best solution. To fix that, you can add a shrink wrap modifier and put it. Um, over the wireframe modifier and add in our target where it should snap to. So now the vertices snap to the surface on the um, mesh underneath you selected here. And then it makes a wireframe out of it. So you see it already looks much better. But the problem we have now is that it intersects at um, many parts here. So here and here and all. So pretty much everywhere. So to fix that you can add, um, enter an offset here. Um, I like to use a value of 3 in this case here. Just play with it until it's out of the mesh. So free, and yeah, that's the basic wireframe setup. And what I like to do is add in a subdivision surface modifier with Control and two, and you see it gets like these weird-looking circles. To fix that, you can enter a crease edge or crease edges, and now you have the original original wireframe and the shading looks much better now as you see. So of course you could render that right now straight ahead but I first want to fix some problems like in here and enable snapping, face and options so here options and X mirror and just adjust it a little bit. And now adjust it. So I uh, turn off the snapping and just move this a little bit up here. So 
I don't see anything else that should be fixed, I think. No, that looks fine. So, of course you could run that out right now, but I wanna make a setup with render layers so we can adjust the color, the opacity and all these things later after we rendered it. And to make that, make sure you have it on a separate layer, like I did it before. And deselect that layer here in the first render layer you use. And also exclude that layer where you have the wire on. And this is because I don't want to have the wire on that render layer here, and also I don't want to have any shadows or so. So I exclude it. Now I want to add in a second render layer. And once we select the layer where I have the wire on and also the layer with my lights. So these three are my light layers and this is my layer with the wire. And then I want to mask it with the first layer where my head model is on, my original one. So you see that looks a little bit messy now because of the shrink wrap modifier when I move that. But this is my first layer where I have the head on. So it masks that out. So when I render it and add it over later in the compositing, I don't see the back of this um, head or so. So also I want to turn off use environment. Uh, check the settings. Yeah, that looks fine. I render on CPU because I have subsurface scattering and 200 samples, I think. Yes, 200 samples. Uh, at the final render, I used 1000. So I render that now and then we can compose it all together. So welcome back and um, you see now it rendered the two different layers and now I want to go into compositor with shift F3 and delete these nodes here I used before and now we have to enable here render nodes and actually let's see go away use nodes oh come on use nodes and backdrop. Then you can press control shift left click and add in a few nodes and duplicate this render layer here. Select the one with the wire and add in a color mix node and use the wire as a factor. View that with control shift left click again and now you can select any color you want. I want to use black and you see the effect is really subtle of the wire. Maybe you want that or you want to increase it with a convert to a math node, multiply it by 1.5 for example and now the effect is a little bit more visible. So I hope you like that video, maybe post me some results from that in the comments and yeah, I hope you can use that for your own work and I hope I see you in my next video.